And what is going on, guys? This is the Club of the Man 1993. And dang, WWE, you've been giving me busy, keep me busy with turn alerts the past week. After, I think, well, almost two months of no turns, we finally have gotten like four this week. Kyrie Sane, The Miz, and then SmackDown had two. The first one we're going to talk about in this episode, which is one that we've been sensing will eventually have for a while. Of course, ever since Santos Escobar had won a shot for the United States Championship, just have an injury angle written off, and Rey Mysterio, his hero and his mentor in the LWO, took his spot when he was injured and won the U.S. title. Ray gave Santos a shot with the U.S. title shot. It was one of those matches that looked like two friends having like a friendly fight. And Ray won the match. And then afterwards, that's when they kind of feuded with Bobby Lashley and the Street Profits. We all sensed that someday Santos Escobar would grow jealous and turn on Rey Mysterio. And maybe the entire LWO turned on Rey Mysterio. Well, it started. At Crown Jewel, during the match with Rey Mysterio and Logan Paul for the U.S. title, one of Logan's little cronies gave him brass knuckles. Well, the brass knuckles got knocked out of the ring. When the crony went to go sneaking for them, Santos Escobar showed up and took the brass knuckles. However, when Santos went to chase down the crony, he set the brass knuckles back on the apron. Which, to me, I, I loved how it was done. Like, it had that feel of, like, you knew he did it, but they're kind of making you, like, not realize at first he did it. I mean, that's just how I perceived it as. And then, Ray didn't notice it until Carlito on SmackDown last night called out Santos Escobar on it. Santos, of course, got mad and walked away. And then after Carlito lost to Bobby Lashley... Santos didn't help Carlito. And then Ray came out and chased him off. And then basically there was some teased tension. Santos is like, he's not family. It was supposed to be you and me. And they kind of got into a little bit of a tiff. And at first it looked like it was like a tease. Like they were like progressing towards the heel turn. And more of like an emotional fallout. But then, after saying the I'm sorry's, finally Santos full on snapped and attacked Ray, turning heel in the process. Now, the rest of the LWO has not. Zelina Vega came out. She was devastated. Um, Joaquin Wild and Cruz del Toro, who's been with Santos since Legado del Fantasma formed in NXT, they were devastated. I'm surprised they didn't turn with Santos. But I guess either they're not or that time is coming like down the line. But yeah, Santos Escobar is a heel again. And as he's leaving the arena, they try to get, get answers from him. And all he said was, Ray had it coming. Which again is probably going to go back to the whole bit of him getting jealous over Ray winning the U.S. title when it was his turn to do so. Even though if you forgot, Santos did beat the United States champion in a non-title match before he won the um, the um, that tournament to crown a number one contender, which was weird booking, but that was when Vince McMahon was making changes. But yeah, I although it was during a time where Vince McMahon got control back again, I do think Santos has been solid on the main roster. This LWO storyline, even though of course it didn't do too much, it still Put Santos decently on the map. You know that WWE does want to make him like one of the next big L- um, Latino stars. Which I do like. I have I have always liked Santos since he debuted in NXT. I never saw his stuff in like Lucha Underground or whatnot. But he, I, I think he's awesome. 
Um, and I do feel like him as a heel is a little more in his niche than a baby face. So I am interested to see where this goes. I said in my SmackDown review, though, I kind of hope they get this to WrestleMania. I don't think they'll have a match at, um, I don't think they'll have a match at Survivor Series. And I'm sure him and Ray are going to cross paths in the Royal Rumble. I'm sure maybe they'll have a match on SmackDown at some point. Maybe something at Chamber. But I would somehow like to see this get to WrestleMania. If possible. I don't know if that could happen. But it would be nice to see. But yeah, I'm interested to see where this goes. I think this was very well done. Um... With, you know, just the sudden turn of events. I think it's worked out very good. It's a simple story, but it's effective. And I do look forward to seeing, because Santos and Ray have had a couple matches one-on-one, babyface on babyface. They have not gotten all out. I think we can get a caliber match like Ray and Andrade did. There, I, one of the matches they had, it was on Smack. I think it was the second match they ever had, was definitely their best match. The match they had, I think Ray and Santos can have at WrestleMania. Give this a spot. Give this man a spotlight at WrestleMania, and I think it would be awesome. But that's my thoughts. Santos Escobar is a heel again. Rest of the LWO is not yet, but maybe sometime soon. Who knows? We'll have to wait and see. So, what are your thoughts on Santos Escobar's heel turn? Do you think it was, of course, well done? Do you think it should get to a WrestleMania match between Ray and Santos? What do you guys think? Leave guys thoughts down in the comments section below. And be sure as always to slap a like on the video and subscribe for more content on my channel. And follow me on Twitter at the Club of the Man 93. And also follow me on TikTok and Instagram at the Club of the Man 1993. And as always, guys, please stay tuned for more WWE Turn Alert.